here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. I'm not new to YouTube and I have been focusing my channel more on uh, book content since the beginning of this year, but I never did this tag and I felt like it was time to do it. So yes, um, if you love books, especially books that are like YA fantasy, set in the Victorian era, or fairies, you know, please hit that subscribe button down below. And also, if you like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And let's get into these questions. I, I officially started this channel like three and a half years ago. And it started off as like a book review channel. And then it kind of morphed into being like more like fashion hauls and makeup, makeup reviews. And then I was doing some challenge videos, which I still do. And then I was just like, I kind of discovered a booktube earlier th this year and it really got me inspired. So I wanted to focus my channel on that again and if you didn't know I've, I've said in some videos but I got my bachelor's degree in English literature and I got my master's degree in library and information science uh, I was planning on being a librarian so the job I have though I love it it has nothing to do with books it has nothing to do with reading so I needed an outlet and because I wasn't able to get a library job, I kind of lost my, my urge to read and like my desire to read. So I was focusing on other things. And as you can tell, I have a lot of books. So veering away from something that I actually love and I enjoy is not good for your mental health. Um, so finding BookTube has really inspired me like this year so far I've read 69 books. <laughs> we're, it's the 1st of August and I've read 69 books. We're last year in 2020, I think I read a total of 41 books for the entire year. And the year before that I read I think like 14 books or something. Like it was a very small amount. So I've just become really passionate about it again. I have an outlet to talk about what I love. And yeah, so it's more, the question is, it's more so why have I changed my channel to being a booktube channel is more what the question should be in my case. I don't know, like obviously my taste, a lot of people like why fantasy, but I also like a lot of Victorian mysteries. I like a lot of stuff focused on the Victorian era. Like, and I also really love fairies. And I've also accumulated so many books for probably the past, like, 17 years that I have a lot of, like, the original popular YA titles that I'm, like, working through. So not all of my content will be focused on, like, the new breakthrough, new releases. I'm going to also be focusing back on those old, like, YA classics that... I'm not, since I didn't watch booktube back then, I don't know if they were on booktube then, but I just, I'm going to be focusing on like older, older YA literature and have like newer literature thrown in too. So like instance, I'm reading the Tiger Saga right now and that, I think the last book in that came out in 2018. But I think it's the, the series started back in 2011. Like that's an older one. And then Sabriel is an older one. So I like reading a lot of the older YA literature because I kind of got behind. And then also my passion. I really love reading and I want to make friends. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully I can bond with some people through the types of books that I love and the type of books that you all love. So yeah, 
I guess that's that's what's gonna be fun and unique about this channel. <laughs> I also have a degree that's uh, two degrees that surround around books, so I might have more knowledge about books than maybe some other people on YouTube or on BookTube, I should say. I think the most, the thing I'm most excited about is hopefully making friends and building a community. And then also just being inspired to read more. Because if I have a YouTube channel that's focused on reading, I'm going to need to read. I'm going to need to know what's happening, what books are coming out, what people are excited for. That way I'm, you know, my channel is exciting and kind of current while also, of course, reading the older books like I want to do. So that's what I'm most excited about is building community and just really helping my love of books grow and shine through my YouTube channel. I, I, I don't know. I've always loved reading. Um, I don't remember a time when I wasn't reading. Like I'd have phases where I was obsessed with other things like anime and manga. I was very like obsessed with in high school, but I read manga. <laughs> I read a lot of manga. And I also like collected manga also for the longest time until I got frustrated with so many series not being either the manga kun like stopped making the series or two the English publisher like Tokyo Pop went out of business, CMX went out of business, Viz there was a few Viz manga that I really liked that Viz stopped publishing so I kind of got really frustrated with that and I kind of moved away from manga and then started focusing more on like YA literature. Yeah I've just always loved reading. My mom has also always been a big reader. We always had books all over our house I was, I've also been more advanced in my reading. Like I remember being, I think in eighth grade and I was like at a college reading level. So, I mean, when you're also good at something, you kind of like tend to be passionate about it. So I'm good at reading. <laughs> I also like, because I love reading, I, that's what made me get an, an English degree and then want to be a librarian. So it's just, it's something that's been embedded in me. And probably a big reason for that is because I saw my mom reading all the time and I'm a lot like her so it's probably also genetic to be honest with you. <laughs> but I also I'm very much I love reading for escapism. I love like reading about some place or a time period that I'm never going to be able to experience or see for myself. You can experience things in books that you can't experience anywhere else. And I think that's really why I love reading and it has stuck with me this entire time. That's difficult because, like I said, I've been reading since I can remember. So, I mean, one of my favorite picture books growing up was The Velveteen Rabbit. And then one of my favorite like children's literature that it's still my favorite book to this day is Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett which I actually I have a nice edition of A Little Princess and I have also a nice edition of The Velveteen Rabbit. So those are like two books that have been my favorites since I can remember. But then specifically like young adult literature I would say like the Mortal Instruments series really got me into um, reading young adult literature. Also like Twilight, the Morganville Vampire series, the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa. I love that series and Grimalkin. I love Grimalkin. He is like my one of my favorite like characters in any book. Like he's just amazing. And yeah, so it's, I, I love so many books and I guess the, the Velveteen Rabbit and A Little Princess would be my two top that I loved and I've read I don't know how many times. <laughs> well, I don't know if I have any questions that I would ask because like my favorite booktubers are Peru's Project, Jody, Books with Chloe, and I guess Haley and Bookland? But I don't know if I have
have, I mean, maybe I'd ask them, like, it would probably about, like, be questions about promoting their booktube channel, like what tags they use, how do they code their videos, if, if they do anything to, like, uh, get sponsors or do the sponsors just find them, you know, maybe about how to grow your channel. I don't, I don't, it's probably be more about like the YouTube side, like the booktube side of things and maybe, or maybe how like they come up with their videos, like how, how do they come up with what they want to film and, and how they want to do it and how do they come up with their schedules and stuff like that. Because I feel like asking them who their favorite author is, their favorite book, if you watch enough of their videos, you're going to know that. Um, a lot of people like give a lot of themselves away when they're talking about stuff. Well, I think the hardest will be like starting a YouTube channel in general is going to be hard because so many people are on YouTube now and there's so many people that are already established. So YouTube is just so like, there's just so many different so much content here and so many different people that are unique and different so it's more so trying to make sure that you're making videos or for me it's going to be trying to make videos that people are actually going to be interested in watching and also coming up with maybe some unique things that are going to help me to stand out from other booktubers and you know knowing the right tags to use, the right descriptions for my, my videos, being clear and concise and having, I'm very much, I'll, I don't really like, I plan out my videos, but I don't like make a script of what I'm going to say. Like all of my videos are verbatim. It's just what comes to my head when it does. And sometimes I can get distracted. And I'll like stop in the middle of a sentence and go on to something else, which is just, that's how I talk. Like even in like everyday life when I'm talking to someone and having a conversation, I'll sometimes get lost about what I'm talking about and like just go on to another tangent or something. So I guess it's also finding people who are okay with that, kind of in that like kind of chaotic situation. And yeah, that's, that that's that's the challenge that I'm facing because I've been on YouTube now for like three and a half years and I haven't grown very much at all. <laughs> so it's an ongoing struggle. I mentioned before I have always read that I can remember. I know for sure in kindergarten I was reading. I might have also been reading when I was four. Because, this is kind of silly, but I forget, I was either, I was young. I think I was in elementary school. And I was reading a book. And I was so into this book that my sister actually cut my hair. Actually, it would have had been before. Because I remember in first grade, I had hair up to here. So it, it must have been in like kindergarten. I was reading a book and I was so into my book. My sister cut my hair while I was reading that book and I didn't even know it. Had no idea. So I've been reading for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I will say I don't get sucked into books anymore like I did as a child because there was a lot of times where things happened while I was reading and I didn't stop it or I wasn't aware of it and then I got in trouble because I didn't stop it. <laughs> So, I, it's hard for me now to get fully sucked into a book and to, like, lose, um, like, perception of what's going on around me. So, that, that's a little unfortunate that I can't really get sucked into a book anymore. But, yeah, I've been reading literally since I can remember. <laughs> either in my bed or in my new chair that that's a recent thing is my chair my nice new recliner for my little library corner in my bedroom I mean if I know that I'm gonna be out and about and I might have downtime I'll take my Kindle with me that way I can read 
Like if I have to go to a doctor's appointment, I'll bring like my Kindle so I can read before my doctor's appointment. If, you know, I'll just read anywhere. But for the most part, I usually chill out in bed or my recliner to read. And I kind of mentioned this in what, about what's unique or fun about my channel. But I love reading young adult literature. I'll, I'll read almost any young adult literature. Uh, but perf preferably fantasy romance is what I prefer. Or like urban fantasy is also. Because like the Moral Instruments series is one of my favorite series. Um, and that's urban fantasy. But I also like anything set in the Victorian peri period. So like like the Suver and Holmes series. The... Um, Gail Carringer, like, she has, like, three different book series that are kind of, like, steampunk and supernatural set in the Victorian era. I really like those. And then there's, like, the Honey and Jack the Ripper series. We have the Edgar Allan Poe mystery series that I really love, which is actually adult, um, adult fiction. But, yes, anything set in the Victorian period, if there's steampunk, there's supernatural creatures thrown in there, I love it. Um, anything with vampires, I don't know why, but I love vampires, so, I also love fairies, oh, anything with princesses, I like, you know, stories about princesses and, like, falling in love, but I like, I like more falling in love stories if it's set in some type of fantastical, uh, situation or world, so, yeah, that's what I like to read. If you like any of those things, please subscribe to my channel. We can talk about them. Um, you can also hear me. I do my, uh, I do monthly wrap ups. I do reading vlogs. I do book hauls. And I'll eventually have a book organization and bookshelf tour on my channel. It probably won't come until like September though, to be honest, because I need to get a lamp. I, I did realize that over in this corner there's no light. I actually have two box lights up right now. So I didn't realize that there wasn't any light for me to read. <laughs> so I need to get a lamp. need to kind of decorate my shelves a little bit more and kind of move some. Because this here isn't my library. I have these three shelves here. And then I have a little shelf, a little two shelfer over there. Then I have three bookshelves in our library slash storage room and then I have nine bookcases at my parents house so this is only a small portion of like my library like as I because like everything everything on these shelves I have not read they um for the most part like I have read like a lot of these classics here but not necessarily these books I read like other editions of them but I just think they're pretty and I want them up on my shelf but like all of these books I have not read all the books I have along the top I have books along the top here I have not read um so I kind of separate like books that I have read versus books that I haven't read so I want the books I haven't read in my bedroom, that way when I get in the mood to read, like if I want to go off from my TBR list, I can go over here and more easily find my books versus having to go through and like, um, kind of like, try to like go through and find out, okay, like, oh, well, I've read this or I haven't read that, you know, I have it all separated. So pretty much all of the books at my apartment I have not read. And then the books at my parents' house, the majority of them I have read. And I'm also going to have to eventually go through my parents, the books at my parents' house, and do an unhaul. Uh, because I have a lot of, like, mass market paperbacks that were given to me that I'm probably never actually going to read. So I just kind of need to, like, purge those. And then there's some series that... I, I think I'm not going to finish, like, reading because I'm just not that interested in them and I need... I need to focus on books that I actually want to read since I have so many I need to read. Um, then like trying to be like, oh yeah, I need to finish this series eventually. Uh, so yeah. Well, I hope you liked this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.